and how's it going Adobe fam? It's Joshua Lufemi here live from LA, founder of the YouTube channel of the same name. And over the next few tutorials, we're going to be diving into the world of After Effects, where I'm going to show you how to make this crazy dope piece. Guys, this new series of tutorials that you're going to be watching is called Learn from the Pros for Adobe After Effects. Adobe After Effects is a digital effects, motion graphics, compositing software, often used right alongside of Adobe's flagship video editing software, Premiere Pro, to create some incredible works of visual art. It's not as hard as you may think. In this fourth video, I'm gonna tell you about keyframes, and I'm gonna show you how to use them in the project that we've been working on so far. We're almost done with this project, by the way. Keyframes are used to change or animate a parameter of an effect over time whether it be position, scale, rotation, or basically any parameter that you can think of. In this case, we're gonna be changing a couple parameters of the virtual camera in order to add a little bit of movement to our stiff shot on a tripod, otherwise stationary footage. Okay guys, so welcome back, we're in After Effects. What we're gonna do is we're going to show you how to keyframe to make this static shot have a little bit of camera movement. So you remember if you looked at the last tutorial, we created this incredible sequence of masked out trucks. We basically made this out of a single truck. It was pretty amazing. So we have all of these layers of footage. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually create a virtual camera. How am I gonna do that? I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna do new and then I'm gonna do camera. I'm gonna make sure that, uh, don't worry about the name, just leave the name the default name. Um, we will leave it a 50 millimeter camera and we will leave everything the same. We're gonna click okay. Okay, again, okay, cool. So now we have a virtual camera. So what we're basically doing is we have a camera that we're now going to move and change the position and it's going to, again, change the perspective that we're viewing this image. So first things first, we have to make all of these layers 3D so that the movement of the camera will affect the movement of these layers because the camera only affects 3D layers. So we're going to click on this cube. This is a 3D layer um, uh, toggle. Toggle everything. And now we're going to start moving this camera. So we're gonna just start to experiment a little bit. Let's go to transform and let's again, keyframe. We talked about keyframing in the past tutorial. We're gonna go more in depth with this tutorial. Keyframing is again, changing the position of an effect parameter over time. So there are so many parameters that we can affect in this camera. Let's try the position first. So let's, uh, let's just, Activate keyframes for all of these parameters just because. And then we're gonna go and we're going to maybe change the position in the X direction. Okay, so let's first start adjusting the position in the Z direction. That's gonna allow us to zoom in. It's pretty cool. And then, um, so we're starting out with the camera all the way back and we're gonna zoom in, in the Z direction. Okay, how about we then change the position? Actually, let's uh, control Z, do that. Let's change the orientation a little bit and see, we're just literally playing around. Literally just playing around. Okay, cool. So we start off really wide and we zoom in. Let's move this keyframe up here. Again, we start off really wide. Let's bring these keyframes to the very, very beginning. Start off wide and we then we zoom in. You know what I wanna do? I wanna zoom in and then I want to start trailing a car or a truck. So we're going to zoom into here, then we're going to start trailing this truck. So I'm then going to, I want to follow this truck right here. And then let's see how that looks. So we zoom in. This is amazing. So we're, we're still obviously on proxy mode, right? The white squares is uh, filled in. Again, that means that we have proxies enabled. 
and look how uh, incredible After Effects is chugging through all this footage because it's not 4K footage, it's our proxy footage, which is again at a very much reduced resolution. Let's play through it now that this is rendered. We zoom in on the footage and then we then pan and there we go. That was pretty good. That is a very, very simple explanation of how to use the camera. Now, um, the next thing that I want to do is I want to, again, go a little bit more in depth as far as key framing the parameters of this camera. So this is kind of a kind of a hard linear jerk when the direction changed. So I'm going to show you how to smooth keyframes over. We're going to highlight all these keyframes. We're going to right click. We're going to go to keyframe assistant and we're going to go click easy ease. That's going to as a that's going to add a bezier motion to every parameter that we change. So instead of it going straight, straight in in a linear fashion, and then straight out or straight up or straight down, it's going to kind of had it have more of a curve to the motion. It's going to round out that motion a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to see how that affected that affects it a little bit. But I'm going to show you the next step after you easy ease all your keyframes. The most important part is you're going to go into the graph editor and then you're going to click on the parameter that you want to adjust. So let's click on position. Well, actually, first let's go over to this is very important. We're going to go over to this button right here and we're going to click on edit speed graph. Okay, so we're going to go to position and now we're going to change this graph. We're going to see these little handles, these yellow handles, you're going to pull one side again we're going to pull the far side in so it starts off really fast and then it ends very slowly so let's see how that looks okay so what that just did is it made the zoom in start really fast and then it kind of slowed down near the end so now we're going to go to orientation and we're going to control both of these so that the orientation is basically controlling the pitch we're going to go here and we're going to let's get out of graph editor now. It's really only the orientation and the position that we adjusted. So that's all we're going to worry about. So again, everything's going to be a lot smoother now. It's going to start off really fast and then it's going to end up very slow and the pitch should start off faster and then end slower. Let's see how this looks now that everything's rendered. Okay. All righty. I think what I want to do though, I don't want it to start. I don't want it to, I'm going to go back to the orientation, go back to the graph editor. I think I want this to actually be the other way around. I want it to start slow and end fast. So I want it to be a slower. I want it to start a little bit slower so that the pitch isn't as jerky, right? When it changes direction and goes up. So let's see how this looks. Okay, what I'm going to do, I still like how that looks. I'm going to extend these keyframes out a little bit. I like that a little bit better. I want this to be extended out just a little bit more. I want to slow this whole pitching process down. All right, and then slow pitch. I like that a lot better. We actually end up following the last car instead of the car in the middle that we're following. But I like how I like the camera movement of that a lot better. As you guys can see, we are literally ending up. We are literally using still footage that were sh that was shot on a tripod on sticks, and we're using the virtual camera to add movement to the footage. And we shot 4K, which is why when we zoom in, the quality there isn't that much quality lost. Again, I almost forgot. We need to unpop our proxies. Bam. Now everything is back to 4K. Um, we have to render this footage out for it to play smoothly though. So let's just wait for that to happen. And let's check it out. Beautiful, look at that 4K footage. Amazing. And that is it guys. Thank you so much for watching this video, telling you the incredible world of key framing, key framing, specifically smooth key framing, where you actually go and adjust the keyframes in the graph editor will 
make your footage look so much more interesting. Again, you can keyframe anything. It doesn't have to only be the virtual camera. It could be any parameter of literally any effect that you use in After Effects. Now stay tuned guys, in the next tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to export out of After Effects. Thanks so much for watching guys, and as always remember to keep it chill.